This is my Tempest by Weatherflow. And this has been my Tempest by Weatherflow for about five years. I first got this, uh, I want to say I was on the initial uh, first people to get one of these. Um, they had sent this to me uh, five years ago and asked me to check it out. It is a all-in-one solar uh, powered all-in-one with a haptic rain sensor and ultrasonic wind sensor, a complete weather suite right here. Now I got this five years ago. It has served me well for five years and I had pretty much no problems. Maybe once uh, something flaked out, I had to reset the hub and repair. Other than that, that has now lived its life. What's inside this thing is, is a, I think it's an 18650, kind of like what goes in the East Lake here. Here's an old 18650. This is not uh, anything that does with this. I'm just showing you. Batteries in there. It only lasts so long, okay? Batteries don't last forever, charging every single day. I made the effort to purchase another one, okay? I, I, well, I, they gave this one to me five years ago for a video. I made a couple videos on it, and then I purchased this one. It's been five years now. And behold, the new Tempest, which is essentially the same exact thing. The boxing I could say was not like this five years ago. So they've they've come a long way, guys. They have wow, look at the map uh, for the Tempest online. A lot of people. And I was just telling my wife, right, honey? Uh, when I met Jim Cantori up there in Tallahassee for this hurricane, uh, Helena came through. When you looked at some of the meteorologists that were on the Weather Channel, you know, they would have be reporting from Perry or Tallahassee or whatever. And in the bottom left corner, like over here on the screen, it would show the temperature, the wind, and the, I think, uh, I don't know, pressure or something. And it said Tempest. It had this logo right here on the screen. So the Weather Channel is actually utilizing some reporting from Tempest weather devices. So that's pretty cool. I had a Davis back in the day. I loved it. I sold the Davis. Um, I, I missed that thing, but it was very, very big and a lot of moving parts. This one, again, does not have any moving parts. This one's brand new. And I, you can see, I can't lie to you because one's old, one's new. But five years, guys, that, I, I guess they can replace the battery in that, but, you know, uh, it was worth the investment to buy one of these, okay? And uh, again, haptic rain sensor. This is, you know, no moving parts like the Davis. Rain hits this, it determines by basically the velocity, the size of the drop, how many drops, how far the drops are between each other, as opposed to how much rainfall rate and, and the you know intensity of the rain. An ultrasonic wind sensor here, no moving parts. I, I deal with these with some NOAA weather, uh, NOAA weather stations down in the Keys in Jacksonville, which have, uh, from a different manufacturer, has an, a, a separate, you know, it's a big conglomeration of parts. It's not anything self-contained like this, but it uses the same ultrasonic wind sensor and it could tell you basically you know wind is entering this direction at this speed and you know uh, average and gust and stuff like that then you have your temperature sensor in here your barometric pressure a lot of other stuff that i don't really understand like uh uh things for uh delta delta t and you know i mean a lot of other things you know but solar powered you know self-contained all right and i hope I hope that there is the mounting. Yes, it is. It's down here. Let's see. Yeah, it's right here. So I. So this is if you wanted to mount this on a quarter twenty mount, like a camera tripod or something. You know, that goes on the bottom. You can see I have that here on this one, right? And then this one uh, is what I'm going to do this time. This one goes. There's nothing really in this, but that goes in. Actually, that's new. The old ones. Okay, so that's new. That's what is that? A level in there? Yes, they got a level bubble. So you can mount that and see if it's level. Very cool. I don't think that that was not in my old one. Okay, so very good. Um, this will adjust on, I think, up to an inch and a half or a two inch, uh, inch and a half mast. And what I'm going to do before uh, Hurricane Milton comes here, don't excuse my grass. I know it needs to be cut. Uh, my tower's not finished yet, but I'm going to get it uh, up here temporarily on not the gin pole there, but the tower. Um, and, and get some, you know, I've had it on a portable mast for a while. My old one, you know, that went through three houses. We had it at Concord. We had it up in Miko when we lived in the RV. And then I brought it here. So this one is going to be permanently installed on the tower up here. Um, I'm going to figure out a, a temporary mast. I don't think it'll fit on the top of the road right there. And uh, just for uh, Hurricane Milton's sake, when I'm looking at it on the app, I can see exactly what's going on. But you know, the best thing about this thing is, 
the lightning detection. Now, from my understanding, the lightning detection doesn't come from here. I don't think it comes from the hub because when the battery finally started crapping out on this and it would say Tempest is offline, um, check connection. And uh, actually, I reached out to Tempest and or Weatherflow, excuse me. And uh, they have a whole tech team that, you know, I gave them a number and bam, they logged right into my, my hub. They checked the device and they said, uh, looks like the battery is, um, you know, uh, weak. Uh, they can look at the trend of the solar charging throughout the day, and then they could see, you know, uh, you know, okay, well, it charged this much, this much wattage came in from the sun, and this much battery is left. This is not working good. But basically, the battery was uh, gone. And I figured, you know, I, I owe it to them to purchase another one after I, they gave me this one, and it worked so good. I did a giveaway years ago. They sent somebody on this viewing audience one of these. Uh, I did a giveaway with Chris, if you remember, back long ago. Um, somebody uh, was uh, won one of those just for commenting. Um, I don't know if we could ever do a giveaway again, but we could try that. So the lightning detection, though, up to 30 miles away, it'll tell you lightning approaching, and you can really look on your app and see, you know, where, how far the lightning was, uh, how many lightning okay. strikes an hour, yep, how many lightning strikes an hour, and look at a radar, local radar, and see exactly which way it's coming from. So just wanted to, to tell you that, and also um, just to throw this out there, because they gave me an affiliate link years ago, and I'll throw it in there again. If you save a, you know, a few percent on the purchase, okay, I'm giving you my seal of approval. I've had this for five years. It's worked, it's never let me down. If you're interested in a Tempest, okay, go on the description right below. There's a link and click that. And when you purchase, it would help my channel out a little bit, but also gives you a discount. So um, I wanna thank Weatherflow for uh, this, you know, uh, technology here. This is great. And, um, you know, I could send this back and, and get a battery in there. I think it's lived its life. And this time now I purchased this one. This one's gonna have a permanent place on the tower, which I didn't have for years that I had this. I had it on a carbon fiber tripod or a mast, you know, the aluminum tripod. And it came with me in the RV to ham fast and stuff like that. This one's gonna be permanent on the tower. So uh, I can see exactly the highest wind gust from Hurricane Milton, which is on the way. So that's it, guys. Just wanted to give you that. Hey, Boots, want to say goodbye, Boots? Bootsy, baby. Bootsy, baby. Yeah, I know. That's Boots. He's a good boy. All right, guys, that's it.